It's extremely rare when two Peabody's are awarded to separate editions of the same program. Yet ABC News Nightline provided the best analysis of events and the impact of the Los Angeles Rebellion. Chief Gates and Mayor Bradley don't talk at all. Indeed, on that Wednesday afternoon, just as things are about to get out of hand, the chief and the mayor make separate live appearances on television. They have yet to communicate with one another. They hate each other. Daryl Gates thinks the mayor is sneaky. He has used those terms. Tom Bradley just wants Gates out. He thinks he's a bully. He never wanted him in in the first place. I know that we must express our profound outrage, our anger, but we must do so in ways that bring honor to ourselves and our communities. We must not bury the gains we have made in the rubble created by destructive behavior. But if we have civil disturbances, we are prepared to deal with that, and uh, I'm not going to go into any detail. Our job is to maintain peace and order on the streets. When I see the mayor of the city of Los Angeles, Tom Bradley, who does not talk to the chief of police for over 12 months. Who's running the city? At 5.45 that Wednesday afternoon, one corner of the city at Florence and Normandy is about to be run by a mob. This may be the flashpoint of the unrest that people were talking about. seen at least 20 to 30 young people uh, throwing rocks. You can hear them impacting against cars and against trucks. I haven't seen any police officers coming here. All the only police... No justice in America now for the blacks. The scene has really gone crazy out here right now. Guess who's here to accept the second Peabody today for ABC News Nightline? Tom Batag. There's really one person who deserves thanks for Nightline being here twice, and that's Rune Arledge, who is an extraordinary news president. Important to understand that two years ago, in the middle of the Gulf War, Rune said flatly to Ted Koppel, to everybody on Nightline, when the Gulf War is over, we need to change the broadcast. And you've seen two broadcasts that look nothing like Ted Koppel interviewing Warren Christopher or Alan Dershowitz. And Rune said, 11 years of the same thing is enough. I want to see this broadcast change. You've got to change to stay alive. And Rune comes out as one of the great teachers in this business who says, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. And we thank him for his, for his lesson.